Hello beautifuls, welcome back to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Today I'm going to have a pick a card on whether or not your person wants to go steady, wants to go serious with you, if this is a possible life term partner. I will also be looking into the possible blockages and a future possible future outcome okay so i will be using a couple of oracle cards with this reading to get extra messages on what's going on with your person i will be having three piles today the first pile will be this one the second pile will be this one the modern witch tarot the third pile will be the lover's path tarot Okay, so, beautiful, take your time, choose your pile, um, if you figure that you don't resonate with the pile you choose, you may be more than welcome to look at another pile. So beautiful, I thank you so much for being here. If you do like this reading, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you so much. Hello, power number one. If you chose the manga tarot, this is your pile. We're going to see if your person that you are in a relationship with wants to go steady with you. So I am going to get a couple of cards here. I'm going to pull out a couple of cards. Ask the universe whether or not this is a possible long-term committed person wants to be in your life forever so let's get right straight to that i will be using some some letters to get extra messages let's get to it for pile number one guardian angels and spare guides is the person on their mind wanting to communicate do i'm sorry to commit should could this be a possible long-term relationship with the person on their mind guardian angels give me three cards for pile number one does their person want to commit have a long-term relationship okay so we have the four of cups give me two more cards okay we have the ace of swords we have the four of cups Give me one more card. Give me one more card. So off the bat with the Four of Cups, I'm not getting a, a yes. Okay, but we're going to dive deeper into this. See what's, what's underneath the surface. Because the Four of Cups talks about, yeah, like being not interested. As you can see, look, we have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So they're not sure whether or not they want this long-term relationship with you. And the Hangman talks to me tells me this is like they're on a full stop they don't really know okay um but let's see one more card just one card now the two the two of pentacles came out reversed so the two of pentacles talks to me as them making a decision but first they had come out reversed upright. 
Let's get more extra messages. Does this person want to commit? Yes or no? What are the challenges here? Guardian angels and spirit guides. With the Ace of Swords, I do see them wanting to um, communicate with you. And we have expressed more magic. So they are wanting to communicate something with you. They do want some kind of clarity. The pile number one. Okay, so we have native spirit and wisdom. Okay. Do they want to commit guardian angels and spirit guides? Yes or no? Yes or no? We have 8th house intimacy. Okay, so they do like to be intimate with you. Let's see, what else? Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius, the Voyager. Okay, so they like their freedom also. They're very free spirited. Let's get more info. What's going on here? Okay. Are they ready to commit? Guardian angels, please give me clear and concise messages for pal number one. Are they ready to commit? I will be using my mini unicorn deck to clarify the cards above because I want a clear message, okay? And I want to provide y'all with as much information I can, I can possibly give you, okay? Alright, so for pile number one, would they, would, do they want, does a person want to commit, yes or no, please provide me with the clear and concise message. using another deck to get it to see what is the blockages here okay so we have shaken my head and sus okay So this is what I'm getting. Um, this we have the four of cups showing up here. Okay. 
this for me is telling me that uh, honestly they could care less they could care less about wanting to commit okay I feel like this person with the Sagittarius um, and the 8th house intimacy which represents Scorpio and the planet of Pluto um, they like their their freedom okay like they don't like to be tied down and they find it suspicious for someone to want them to become get get in a committed relationship they may feel like um this sh this shouldn't be asked from them okay they feel like this is the, like if you were to um, talk to this person and ask them hey are you are you are you willing to commit um, have something long term with me um, it would just like really cause this person a tower moment Okay. I feel like this person with the wisdom card, um, they could be young or lacking some kind of maturity. Okay. I feel like they have to grow. And then we have native spirit. So native spirit to me feels like, you know, like, like this makes me feel like they are very, they have an energy of a soulmate, okay? They're really hit close to home, especially with the intimacy card. They, f they feel very familiar. And with the sky blue, express more magic and the ace of swords, I do feel like um, to get a clear message, uh, maybe this person has been giving you very mixed emotions or messages. To get a clear message from this person, there must be a very clear and cutthroat communication with this person. Like, cut through all the BS and be straightforward with this person. Okay, um, let's get my Oracle deck to see um, what are the blockages here for power number one. blockages here for power number one okay I was going to say that um, with the Four of Cups, you know, the Four of Cups in other decks, um, they're worried about the Three of Cups that they have, you know, partying, friends, uh, third parties, and not looking at your cup, okay? And then we have the third party card um, coming out, 
This is heartbroken and um, entangled. So there could be a third party, someone else who they are possibly interested in. Um, and for some of you, it, it's like their heart is still um, needing some healing from the past. So it's hard for them to completely give themselves in a committed relationship because they're scared to get heartbroken again. Okay, so we have seventh house partnership. That's friends. That is uh, partnerships, okay? And then we have I love you, new love, love at first sight, and then magic involved. So, again, they find it suspicious that you may want to settle down, okay? They may think that you are wanting to... They, they may feel like you want to tie them down and um, and they may feel like with I love you a uh, new love at first sight they may feel like there's no such thing as love okay so that's what I'm getting here Now I'm gonna get some messages from my banana bag to see um, if we could get messages from them. So for power number one, what would they like to say for power number one? And okay, that's not. So we have G, Q, I, R, A, E. We have O, E, G, N, J, L, O, I. Okay. E, P, and D. So what I'm getting here, I see lion. So some of them could be a, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um a Leo I have ego so that goes with Leo they could be very egoistical you could this person can be very egoistical um, I see no I see go and I see lie I see lie right here, so um, they could be lying. I see dying. Okay, so I may want to take you out um, and lie to you. Okay. Uh, I see pond, so they may like the water, or they may take you on a date by the pond. Okay, I do have John here, John. I have John Doe, so an unknown, unknown person may have an eye on you. I have Pi, so someone may like Pi. Um, let me see. I do have the color green so your person may like green or you may like green or the wilderness okay and then we have need and we have greed so this person can be very needy and greedy okay we have 
alone. They may not like to be alone. We do have rest in peace. RN, registered nurse. Uh, we have gig. So they could be going jobs from job to job. And we have deed. So someone could have definitely passed away. I have the the name Dean. Could be a last name. All right, so that's what I see here for your for your words. Let's end your reading with some oracle cards. Let's um. Let's get you some spiritual advice. I will be using the spirit animal for pile number one. Guardian angels. What advice do you have? For pile number one, what advice do you have, guardian angels and spirit guides? So we have be playful. Okay. So with that card, I feel like your angels are advising you don't take everything too serious. Okay. If this is not the right person, the real person will show up. Okay. Alright, advice for power number one, guardian angels. Denial, denial, failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addi addictions. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we have denial. Nope, yep. Denial. Yeah, we have denial here too. Mm hmm. Okay, so, um, you could possibly be in denial of this person's, um, possible red flags. You may be overlooking some of the person's red flags and um your guardian angels or calling you out in regard to that what else guardian angels soulmate wanted to come out apology forgiveness through mutual understanding so i do feel like your angels are really with the playful spirit are really calling out for some kind of closure if this is a, a cycle that is no longer healthy for you to not leave with do not leave this person with a bitter taste in your mouth okay to come to come through with some kind of clarity and closure and we have celebration good times come from hard work time spent in good company okay so i do feel like you will be celebrating your hard work will be um fruitful you will receive what you deserve in regards of your career okay i am guided to get a believe in your own magic oracle card so let's get a card for power number one, guardian angels. 
What advice do you have? So we have raindrops take a chance on them. So there may be someone in your environment that you may not see as like a future partner or someone you can hang out with or they may not seem as your standard um, or something you are very attracted to. But I do feel like they are very different and your angels are asking you to uh, Try to take a chance on them and get to know them just a little bit better. Um, just try to change um, the environment, the people who you uh, elaborate with. Okay, take a chance on meeting new people. That's what I'm getting here. So, beautifuls, if you did enjoy this quick, beautiful reading, I hope you did. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for being here. Hello, beautiful pile number two. If you chose the Modern Witch Tarot, this is your pile. We're going to see if your person is someone you could have a long-term relationship with. Okay. So for pile number three, Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Is there a possibility for a long-term relationship? Yes or no? For pile number two and their significant other, guardian angels, and spirit guides, please give me a clear and concise message for pile number two. Give me three cards. I will be, pull, be pulling some oracle cards out. We have the Wheel of Fortune, seven, seven of Cups, one more card, one more card please, two more cards wanted to come out was the Hermit, the Five of Cups. One more card. I do feel like there is more. There's a lot of like information here. But I am trying to get to the point. Okay. I really don't want to um, take hours. Um, I do want to understand your person. But we need to know exactly what's going on. You see what I'm saying? We have the Eight of Swords. That's more um, to the point compared to the Hermit and the Five of Cups. Okay. Which it was, but we needed one card. So, all right. Is this person ready to commit? Yes or no? Okay, so I, we have marriage, but I heard something right now. Spirit Guides um, said it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, responsibility. And we have the Seven of Cups, which which talks about confusion. So um, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to take out the cards first. So is this person to commit? Is this person ready to commit yes or no and again I am going to be pulling out cards to see what is the blockage here so we're gonna find out what's what is difficult okay what is difficult we did have responsibility under that deck we have Virgo coming out so some of you could be dealing with the Virgo and Virgo talks about more responsibility and nitpicking also 
Is this person ready to commit? Yes or no? Give me the information I need for pile number two. So we have Native Spirit on my card. We have Sprout learning something new. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's get two cards from here. Are they ready to commit? Yes or no? Guardian Angels. Yes or no? Give me two cards. Usually I get them. Okay. I'm going to take this because it resonates. So I'm going to take that. And we have Bay, Babe at the bottom of the deck. That resonates. One more card, Guardian Angels. I need a card from here. Because this could go a lot of ways. Intoxication and slipper. Slipper. Okay. Overcoming adversity at the bottom of the deck. So, technically, I do feel like there's lots of um, problems or, you know, uh, things that your person perceives as a problem or limitation. Something that's not letting you get together. Okay. So let's start off with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune here tells me that this per the the Wheel of Fortune talks about giving something a second chance. Um, and the Seven of Cups talks about having too many decisions, being overwhelmed, especially with the Eight of Swords, not being able to move or make a decision. Um, so what I'm getting here is that this person doesn't know what step to even take. Okay, they're just feeling very clouded and stuck. So even if they wanted to, they're in they're too much in their mind. Okay. I'm also getting that for some of them they may be scared to make a change in their life, okay? Uh especially with the Wheel of Fortune talks about I see it as it the rule of fortune talks about renewal, but I do see it as like kind of like the full card. But I'm also getting that they may possibly have they're thinking about their past too, okay? Past relationships they've had, wondering if they should um, go back to someone, okay? They just don't know what to choose or how to even start. A, a committed relationship marriage is definitely something that they are interested for the near near future um but we did have that responsibility card at the bottom of the deck and with virgo and dreams i do feel like this person is having a, a difficulty Rounding anything. I feel like they're very much in the 5D and the 3D. Not in the 3D, but in the spiritual realm. And it's they're having a hard time to ground anything. Okay, to get anything going. And, and Neptune clarifies, clarifies spiritualists. So this person could be very intuitive, uh, very spiritual, into the spiritual realm. They could even be a Pisces. They may have a very difficult time grounding relationships or even knowing where to start. Okay. So it says searching for meaning in life, discovering the magic around you, manifestation, the spirit realm. So manifesting, this is something that there, that is a, um, a blockage here. They're too much in their dreams, in their mind, and in, in being confused. Rather than being in this Virgo energy. And since this Virgo energy did come out, I do feel like they have, you know, they have what it takes to ground this relationship. 
We have, we'll do anything to win you over, simp, nice girl, nice guy, a fool, begging, and groveling, okay? So, I do feel like they're head over heels over you. It's just that they have these small blockages where they have to sit with themselves and really express and, you know, set a plan, a practical plan on how would they like to move forward with you and if they do want a long-term relationship. So I do feel like communication will be key, but they need to find their own clarity. With Native Spirit, it's telling me that this is a soulmate, um, learning something new. I feel like they need to, you know, learn, get info, like the Virgo, get info, um, see how y'all can move forward, and again, make a practical plan. We have grape. So this is intoxication and slipper. Excuse me if I'm not saying that correctly, but what I'm getting here is that Again, they get, they get, um, I don't know how to explain this. Like, they get too excited, overexcited. They get too much in their head, in their, um, imagination. They're like, yes, I want to do this. And they just start daydreaming. But they don't take the actions to do it. Okay? Um... For some of you, your person could have some drinking problems. I don't see that here heavily. I'm just it's just a message that is coming through. Okay, so I'm going to use this deck to see what is the blockages here. For pile number two, what is the blockages here? Give me two cards, please. Guardian Angels. What are the blockages here? Okay. Um, I'm going to take it. It resonates. Okay. So we have, I love you. I hate you. Friend of me. It says... Okay, it says opportunist, deception, secret enemy, jealous, conniving, and betrayal. I do feel like deep down, this person is scared to get betrayed. Okay, this card is reminding me of the Eight of Swords we have there. This is definitely the Eight of Swords worried. They're worried, okay, that things... That if they take this leap of faith, things may still look the same as when they was with somebody else and it didn't work out. Okay? Um, self-sabotage and anxiety. I do feel like there is some kind of self-sabotage here. Um, we have incoming message. So, communication. Again, communication. They're possibly ignoring you, um, not wanting to face their fears. Um, that could be a blockage here. And definitely with the Eight of Swords, they're just all in their head and not communicating. Fifth house, creativity, fire, Leo, the sun. So, they could either be a Leo but what I'm getting here is that they, they could be missing that spark, okay? That creativity, that wanting to. We do have Neptune, so that, that represents to me creativity. But I feel like Leo is more action-oriented, okay? We have the fifth house. The fifth house. If, if I'm not mistaken, the fifth house represents um, the enemy. Okay. We're going to leave that there. I'm going to get some letters to see what extra messages would they like to tell you for pal. For pal number two, what messages would they like to tell 
my pile number two to pile number two. Okay. So E wanted to come out twice. So it could be E. We have me. We have J R B. So we have Junior. We have R. We have V. V. R. O. So their their name could start with one of these letters. Okay. I am going to um make some words with these. I put I I made the word poor without wanting to, so that they may have a worry financial worry okay they may feel like they don't have enough financially to provide both the uh to have a marriage okay that could be in their mind uh i have the word mejor which is better in spanish so some of you could be dealing with a person a spanish person or someone from a different background um we, I do have job. Alright. I have. I have room. So they're thinking about. You know the adjustments. And like they're really thinking about everything every detail we have room so they're wondering how they could make room in their in their life for you how they could accommodate you in their life we have room with the v so there could be car problems or they want to come they want to see you um We have bore, so they may be bored, okay? Um, oh, we have the word love, okay? They definitely have loving feelings towards you. We have broom, okay? They may like to clean a lot. Uh, let's see what else can I get. Mm, I'm I'm seeing June. All right. I have. Let me see. I have rum. The alcohol rum. From Chata, someone may like pineapple, um, the pineapple drink. Let me see. Um, that's all the words I'm seeing here for right now. I have moo, maybe they like cows or milk. Oh, I have move. So they're maybe thinking about having to move. I have bro. So they may have to move out of someone's house. They could be living with someone. And to be able to make that change to commit with you, they may have to move out of the place they're living at. Okay. I have pro. So they could be skilled at something. I have OBV. I don't remember what that means, but it's an acronym for something. And I have sub. So it could be a, an assistant or they like Subway or sandwiches. Alright, so I'm going to put that to the side. Okay. It's in your reading with some advice cards. I'm going to use a spirit 
the spirit animal to get some advice for pile number two. You see clearly now. This is the owl totem. The owl represents wisdom and clarity. You see clear now. So <laughs> I feel like not to be cocky, but I do feel like. Uh, you did gain some kind of clarity through this reading, okay? So your angels are saying you see clear now. You see something else that you may have not been seeing. You you are seeing it now through this message, okay? Um, which I'm happy to have provided you with some clarity. This use my Oracle deck for pile number two, Guardian Angels. What advice do you have? Okay. Soulmate. Okay, definitely this is a soulmate. Definitely. Um, it says, the divine will provide you with love when you are ready. Okay, we have stress. Cleanse and detoxify. From unnecessary commitments. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you, y'all are breaking out back um, for the, uh, this person. I do feel like maybe y'all are, you know, this, this is a soulmate. You feel very loving feelings towards this person, but you are, there needs to be a balance between give and take okay i do feel like maybe you are doing more than what you are supposed to so that's why they're saying that they will provide you with a soulmate when you are ready and we have communicate reverse receive and express the truth and that is definitely what i was feeling here there needs to be some kind of clarity and speaking truth between both of you okay and i do feel like the um, spirit definitely is saying there is no communication here especially clear cutthroat truth true communication okay and if there is there needs to be more especially in regards of committing okay i feel like your guardian angels really don't want you to waste your time with something that's not going to take you anywhere. So to end your reading. Let's get a Believe in Your Own Magic. For pile number two. Guardian Angels. Please give me one advice card. We have Clover. Release your guilt. Okay. So I feel like this person may not be you know, a bad person. And you may feel bad for leaving them. Okay. But again. It's not about whether they are good or bad. It's about if they are, what are they bringing to the table? Okay, that's what I'm getting here. All right, so beautifuls, if you did enjoy this reading, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for being here. Bye. Hello, beautiful pile number three. If you chose the Lover's Path Tarot, this is your pile. I am going to I am going to be using this tarot deck and a couple of oracle cards to find out if your person is ready for a committed long-term relationship. So for pile number three, Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, please give me a clear and concise message. Is their person ready for a long-term relationship? And what I mean by a long-term relationship, I mean um, someone who's willing to go through thick and thin with you. Someone who's, who's willing to help have your back, be there when you're sick and happy. Okay, when you're sick and healthy, sad and happy, not just for the good time. We have the Ace of Coins, so that, that looks promising. I do like the Ace of Coins. I will get to my cards, though, to see what's going on. For pile number three, is the person ready to commit? Yes or no? We have the Six of Wands, okay. All right. 
one more card. You could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Justice, Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So overall, these cards are good. Okay, these cards are good. But I am going to get the rest of the Oracle cards to get a bigger picture. For power number three, is this person ready to commit? Yes or no? or no okay give me one card are they ready to commit yes or no We have this harmony. Interesting. Hmm. An ending at the bottom of the deck. So you could be in a fight with them right now. Let's see. Is pile number three ready to commit? Guardian Angels. Yes or no? Please give me clear and concise messages from my pile number three. Sweet surrender and self-love. I'm going to take this. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. For pile number three. Is your person ready to commit? Yes or no? Please give me clear and precise messages for pod number three. Give me two cards. Oh my card. We have the 11th house, which talks about friendship. And then Saturn, wisdom. Okay. Okay, so this is a little, this is uh, quite informative. For Pod Mercury, are they wanting to commit? Yes or no? Give me two cards for poem number three. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. Hmm. Okay. I definitely have a bigger picture of what's going on here. I do feel like this message is going to resonate vice versa. But we're going to take it as their feelings. Okay, so, but if you know that this is not true, um, don't take it. Huh. This, I'm not sure, okay. Hmm. What else do I need? Okay, I think those are all the cards. Let's start with the Ace of Coins here. The Ace of Coins is a very promising energy, a, a, a long-term um, proposal. Uh, the Six of Wands talks about getting attention and loving that attention or even wanting to catch your attention trying to win you over that's what the six of wands talks to me about tells me about you know victory having victory with you with the justice i do feel like yes the justice represents ha having balanced 
a balanced um, relationship, a balanced, harmonious relationship. But we did pull out this harmony and we have self-love and sweet approach, sweet surrender. Okay, so I do feel like your person feels like what I'm getting here is that there is a need for self-love, okay? I think from your part, I feel like this person may want to offer you something that sounds good, but is not that good. And the reason I'm saying that is because we have this harmony and breadcrumbing, okay? So... They may, I feel like this is a very superficial relationship where they're willing to put you, you know, on their Facebook page, but never talk to you, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's just like not real. And we do have Saturn in wisdom. So Saturn is blocking this. Saturn is um, delaying um, technically a long-term relationship, okay? I do feel like this is more karmic -y than um, I feel like this is more like a lesson um, for you or on both sides okay especially uh, with in regards to friendships um, people who you surround yourself with I do feel like this person loves the attention and they are very concerned about um, being seen going viral and um being popular i don't see them uh, worried about much about relationship wise long-term relationship wise um the ace of coins also again represents money so they may be just focused on themselves okay i do feel like they are unhappy possibly in regards of their monetary um achievements and popularity and they are breadcrumbing you because they there there's a blockage here and and there needs to be a lesson learned here okay so let's use this tarot oracle card to see what is the blockages here for pile number three what is this person's blockages So yeah, it says avoiding making any real effort, keeping one's op options open, and mind games, non-committal. Okay, so I am going to pick up that card, the card fell, so let's see. So, so the card we got is detour, wait not the right time blockage and this is the energy i was getting with saturn saturn takes you through hell and back so you can learn a lesson so you could have a see so it says self-control maturity so you can learn something here okay so i do not feel like this is your divine masculine or feminine this is more of a lesson here and then we have divine protection um, return to sender blocked self-defense I do feel like your angels are trying to get you out of this relationship I feel like this relationship is being detrimental to your to your spiritual wealth okay I feel like this person yes is this person is draining you because they're breadcrumbing you spiritually they're breadcrumbing you they could um, again they love the attention and um, your angels are like screaming right now saying that um, try to 
run as far as you can. Okay, we have karmic blessings in abundance, and this is one of the blockages. Okay, so because this person is too much, this person is too much in their ego, they they are blocking your abundance. Um and they may feel like a divine masculine or feminine, but they are not your divine counterpart. So, so beautiful. So let's um, get you some messages from them using my my words here for power number three, guardian angels and spirit eyes. What messages does this person want to say for power number three? So the first letter we got was E. We had that in the last pile, in the second pile. So we have E O M Y S S E E T P E R A Y and R. Oh, okay. So right off the bat, okay. So these letters could be a person's uh, first initial or last name initial. Doesn't. Uh, we have off the bat. I see mystery. Okay, so there are definitely some things that you don't know. Some mind games that they are playing. We have mystery. Um, we have peace, peace, peace. We have, we have story, okay, so they may like to, they may have the gift of gab. We have May, so something may happen in the month of May. We have C. Yep, you will see something in May. We have peer, so peer pressure. They may be always listening to your, to their friends. We have store. So you may have a meeting at a store in the month of May with this person or in general I did see a job uh, we have seer well I do feel like you are very intuitive I do feel like you see through this person's BS okay if, if not you will see you will be finding something out possibly in the month of May I, I know May already passed um, or this is just saying that you found there was some information that um, went over your head. And think about the month of May. Uh, let's see. We have Tor. We have Mayor. So with Tor, I do feel like they could have, again, they're just self-sabotaging this relationship. We have Yes. Okay, we have yes. Um, Yodi. We have seam. So lots of um, smoke and mirrors. You want he wants they want you to see something, make it seem some kind of way. 
So yeah, if this person is wanting to offer you some kind of contract or deal, make sure you read the fine line, um, go through it, sleep on it. Make sure this is a correct decision you really want to take. We have... We have tree, we have more, pay more, and that's what I was getting, like this person may be asking you for too much or someone's going to want you to overpay something. We have seat, so this could be in regards of an airplane or traveling ticket. That's just an FYI. We have eat. Uh, maybe in regards of going out for dinner or to a restaurant, make sure they're not overcharging you. We have Pete. We have Peta, Peta. Um, we have year. So in a year, something may happen. We have pet, so you may get a pet in a year. We have or, so that's a maybe. We have see, so you will see something about a pet. Um, something may come through about a pet or you, you will just see something in general. We have my, we have rate. So definitely a lot of um, words coming out in regards of your money. Watch your money. And then we have tape. We have tape. Yap. So someone could again just be lying. Yapping their mouth about your business. And uh, we have toe. So some of you may get a pedicure. And then we have reap. Okay, you reap what you sow. Alright. So that's that's where I'm going to leave it at. Let's end your reading with some spiritual oracles. Spiritual animal card for pile number three. What advice do you have? What advice do you have for pound number three? Wasp spirit sometimes life stings. So you are definitely, um, obviously not expect, expecting um, this from this person. Um, it could have been butterflies and everything in the beginning. But um, spirit is saying again, you know, don't lose hope. This was a lesson that your soul needed to learn. Let's use a Divine Goddess Oracle for pile number three, Guardian Angels. What advice do you have for pile number three? Please give me clear and concise messages. Okay, we have peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. Okay. So I do I do see you are divinely, spiritually protected. We have passions. Don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. One more card. We have energy activation. Connect. Connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. Okay, so they definitely want you to connect to them. Because they are definitely speaking to you. And we have soulmate. The, the, divine, the divine will provide you with love when you are ready. Okay. Guardian Angels, what message do you have for power number three? What message do you have 
for paw number three. And one card. So we have sundress do it for you. And I think this just, it speaks by itself, okay? Do it for you. Do what makes you happy. Um, don't get stagnant in the energy for someone who doesn't deserve you. Know your worth, okay? So, beautifuls, I hope you enjoyed this quick reading. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for being here. Mwah.